Many of us might have a home or property where we might, instead of having six or seven wisterias, we might just have one or two plants, and they never bloom. So when we look to the reasons why wisteria may not bloom, one of the leading reasons is just not enough afternoon sun. They might get morning sun, but not enough afternoon sun. So you want to make sure you get as much afternoon sun as possible. Another thing, if your wisteria is in a lawn, maybe they're getting too much nitrogen fertilizer. So it's producing lots of these growths that are light green and it's just getting bigger and bigger every year. What we find with wisteria is you might have to shock it into blooming. And by pruning it, you can help initiate budding and then flowering in the spring. It's really not hard to do. You know, a common question people may have is, what about just coming in with my hedge trimmers, my electrical gas powered one, and just give it a haircut? If you do that, all you're gonna end up with is these wispy, young shoots, very little flowering. So I always recommend what is called thinning, and that is reaching in and taking out whole branches. And for example, I'm gonna come in and reach in and remove a whole lateral, like this, this is a great example of an older lateral, and you will see nice, young, wispy growth. So if you give it a haircut, all you're gonna see is this. But what I'm gonna do is, if I left this main lateral on the plant itself, you can look at all the little buds. There's all many buds here on this young growth that occurred this year. This is one year old growth. As I said, uh, one way is just to come in here one time in the fall and cut it back very hard but or do that in the spring. But the ideal thing to do is mid-August, tip it back. Again, two weeks later, tip it back. And then September, just tip it back like this. I have forced all the energy from the roots and all this foliage into this one, two, and three buds. And that will help force those buds to grow into flowering buds as opposed to being just foliage buds and lots of foliage. You really don't want to take any more than 20% of the growth. If you take too much of the growth, you're going to get excessive new sprouts, which is really what you don't want. I also recommend feeding it with a mineralizer. Uh, maybe something like green sand and as many others that have as many as uh, almost a hundred nutrients that will help so as I'm working through I'm pruning these all to one to three it may take more than one year of this process but it won't be long before you have beautiful hanging wisteria blooms on a plant that really has never bloomed for you in the past. I'm Mark Viet. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.